Greetings. My name is Darren B-Side Young. I'm the Director of Business Development for DOS Audio of America, and I'm here at our sunny South Florida headquarters to let you know about the new Action 500 series. Now we're gonna take a look at one of the stars of the Action 500 series family. Here we have the monitor wedge. It's an ultra low profile wedge. The model is the Action M512A. 500 series gives you about 500 watts. The 12 stands for the 12 inch low frequency driver and the A stands for active. This is an ultra low profile wedge that is ultra flexible and ultra versatile. As you can see, it does have handles on both sides and it even has a pole cup so you can actually mount the speaker vertically. You have a logo that can be discreetly turned off of the LED on off or limit mode if you'd like. It is a Baltic birch cabinet with a discreet emblem etched into the hardwood. So some of the cool features of the Action M512A low profile monitor, first of all is the PowerCon connections. We have a PowerCon in and through, so that means you can have one monitor connected to the cable and you can jump up to three or four other cabinets depending if you're running uh, 110 or 220 volt. The PowerCon connection is a twist lock and as you connect it, you will not hear any pops, clicks, or any signal noise. Here under the DOS control DSP with the interface, we've got an encoder that has the ability to auto dim, as you can see. It turns off automatically after a few seconds to not disrupt the audience, especially if it's in monitor mode. You don't want everyone staring at the screen. You want them paying attention to the artist on stage. You have the ability to turn that off and on and our control features. You do have your standard two channel mixer with an aux in. This aux is tied to channel one. Both of these inputs are Neutric combo jacks, meaning you can plug in a quarter inch or XLR connection. Whether it be a microphone line or an instrument, it will auto sense and balance that impedance for you. As far as outputs are concerned, you do have an XLR dedicated output that you can actually daisy chain to another speaker product. You have the ability to take the mix of channel one or channel two, selecting individually or the mix of them. You have your power switch and your fuse depot at the bottom. This heat sink is designed to be discreet as well as dissipate heat from the amplification module. Now let's look at some of the DOS control features of the 500 series. For today's demonstration and presentation, I've turned off the auto dimming, but now we're looking at the audio management home screen. Here, you've got your channel one and two, your inputs, your gain inputs, which are directly controlled by these two knobs here. You have your output on the far right, that is controlled by the encoder. In the middle, you're gonna have your dB level. And the line here, which is completely flat, is your three band EQ. Below that, you've got the mode of the DSP. Now, this is gonna be a little bit different on the monitor as opposed to the other full range cabinets. And we'll look at that in a moment. You also have the delay feature. This is your delay indication, letting me know I do not have delay on and I do not have the crossover or high pass filter on either. To access all of these features and make changes, I would press the encoder and basically go through the menu set here. I have presets, which are basically monitor, dance, live, my three options. I have a high pass filter which is off, sub, I have a delay which I can adjust in feet or meters. I can go all the way up to 33, about 33 feet, there we go. The delay would be ideal if you have a staggered setup or you're using this perhaps as a fill. 
and which the fill might be closer to the audience members. You don't want this speaker to send signal or reach the audience before the main hang, therefore you could delay it. Here are my option settings. I can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the dimming, which I can turn off and on, the logo, which I can turn off, on, or I can put it into limit mode, which will engage the LED logo on the front when I have reached the limiter. I also have the ability to lock the menu, which is great if you're going to be renting this system or loaning it to a novice or an unexperienced user. You have the ability to turn the menu lock off, on, or even password protected. That menu lock locks the encoder completely. You would have to press and hold the encoder to disengage menu lock or enter the password. Here I have my delay units, which I can adjust between meters or feet. I can reset the controls of the device if I have any problems, I'm not sure what is set for the previous setting or if I've let someone else use it and they've made changes, it's always easy to just go in and reset the device. You also have all of the information you would need as far as the version of the firmware and what model speaker we're referring to. Again, these are all the features under the options and the controls of the DAS control feature of the Action M512A. To learn more about DAS Audio products, you can visit us online at www.dasaudio.com or give us a shout on social media, Facebook or Instagram is at DAS Audio USA.